Alrighty folks, in this video I'm going to share you a Welcome back to the channel take a do and today it's kind of different setup because this is how this channel began and uh, I always like this setup more than anything else sitting in the outside uh, in the balcony you know a little bit of background at the back but uh, well it's not about the setup today it's all about uh, your iPhone and it's all about expanding the storage of your iPhone um, it will work on anything on any iPhone that's on iOS 13 um, if you are you are using iOS 12 iOS 11 this video is not for you it's only for people those who have an iPhone and that is on current iOS 13 uh, to use this video I'm going to use my iPhone and I have a mic which is made by Rode uh, this is a Rode microphone and this will allow me to pick up my voice very clearly and uh, then in one of the parts when I'm not using my Rode microphone I will try to do a voiceover and uh, will try to share you how to expand your storage on your iPhone the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of us we face problems when uh, you know like our iPhone storages get like you bought a 256 suddenly it's out of storage and uh, you didn't forgot to back up and everything you have to delete all the videos and everything that you have already backed up but after even if you have deleted it it's still present on your iPhone so this video is dedicated for all that purpose to solve all the problems that we have uh, you know including storage on this um, I personally do not believe in uh, you know uh, using uh, extra uh, cloud storage or anything though cloud storage is always always recommended for the use but let's let's quickly jump in and show you what I have prepared for you and in this way you can always have kind of unlimited storage on your phone also I'll show you two devices that has helped me over the past two years to transfer device across to transfer storage across my devices and it has also allowed me to keep my phone at um, you know like sufficient storage all the time so let's jump in and check this video right now alrighty folks uh, so today we are going to see how and what is going wrong and that you know I go to settings and I go to um, general and I go to iPhone storage and I would see 59.6 gigs is used right so usually what you're going to do is that you're going to see oh photos is taking 34 gigs music is taking 2.61 um, files is taking 1.77 but we're going to concentrate on this okay so let's go back let's go to photos in photos I have only like maybe few pictures um, go to photos I have only few pictures so seven or eight so what's going wrong well you go to albums okay and in albums when you uh, hold that you'll be seeing that there's something called recently deleted now you have to delete this because it caches everything so go out here select delete all and delete 374 items so you see that what happens is that and now you guys can go to settings and then you will see that I have 26 gigs left uh, which means that except for music and stuff like that uh, you have got plenty of storage left and this is where we were getting wrong that we were deleting all the pictures but but for some reason it's getting saved in recently deleted so that you can bring this back again if you have accidentally deleted something you can still recover your photos and pictures so um, that's how you get storage now there's one more stuff um, so for example we were talking about these two um, products so mtech connect you can use this and you can transfer everything from like videos photos and music from uh, your uh, internal storage to an external storage we're going to show you that also 
Alrighty folks, in this video I'm going to share you these two drives and how these two drives have helped me for the past one and a half years to actually transfer videos and photos from an iPhone to uh, my computer and also uh, on the go if suppose I require some footage or anything I actually dump footages on these two and I can edit on the go. go. So um, in this video we are going to show you how you can use both of these with you in partnership of your iPhone to clean storages and so that your phone is always not out of storage or anything so let's quickly check that okay at first we are going to connect this one and we are going to show you how this drive actually works okay alrighty so now we are going to see how to connect mtech on this one so when you pop in the drive you go ahead and going to press allow and after that you're going to see that there are two sort of storage internal and external so my phone already has a lot of internal storage and this is what I have transferred over the time and everything. You can click and directly preview a small footage if you want um, and or you can just transfer from the external to the internal storage whichever way you want so it's it works both ways it's not like a one-way kind of a scenario. So um, again, I'm just going to show you a small uh, demo of how to transfer from internal to external. So at first you go to internal storage and uh, you're going to look for a small clip maybe. Where can a clip be? Okay, so in videos, yeah. So for example, we take one of this uh, clip um, and we are going to transfer. We just highlight that or click that. And after that, we are going to press copy and then we are going to copy it to a folder just paste to the folder and look how fast 132 gigs gets transferred like in a matter of seconds right but uh, let's go and watch uh, what happens if we are using over the air kind of file transfer so let's check that out and now since this is a wireless connect drive or wi-fi connect drive all you have to do is press this button out here once you press this you see that the light glows and after that you have to connect this to your Wi-Fi now let you let me show you that and how easy it is to use this drive if you have one of these at home or you can purchase from the link in description so that you know you can support the channel and everything and uh, then we are going to show you this also so let's quickly jump in and see how this drive works also Alright folks, so go ahead to go to your settings and after that go to your Wi-Fi and then toggle on your Wi-Fi um, and until and unless you get to see the SanDisk connect, uh, press on that SanDisk connect and it should be an open network to be very honest. I didn't set any password or anything. I don't even know if you can set up a password or anything. After that just go to SanDisk connect, check all the license agreements and everything and uh, there you will see that uh, I have already set up folders for it so I have you can do multiple folders if you want but I've set up like three basic ones which is music photos videos um, then what you're going to do is that you can actually copy your own music and transfer it directly back uh, to your iPhone and you can uh, take from the iPhone to the drive also so on your uh, left hand corner you're going to see status which means that it will show you your drive battery percentage remaining and all that stuff but after that you can go and connect to your phone when you connect to your phone you will see all the various you know files that you want to transfer I just selected two and then I will go ahead and copy uh, in the main folder of videos and I will just press copy here but watch how much time uh, it takes for the transfer to happen now if you watch that M mtech connect the mtech connect was going through this like in a matter of seconds like while i was doing the voiceover it has already done its job but this takes a lot of time so um, yes this is a very good way of doing a wireless kind of a transfer but uh, then again it's not that fast to be honest i would say this is a very good uh, setup for a backup Alrighty folks, there you go. That's uh, how you're going to uh, totally take out, you know, videos and photos from your iPhone to your Mac or an external hard drive and everything. Uh, you also saw how to clean up storages on your iPhone. Um, if well, and uh, SanDisk versus MTech, I would say buy anything that has a lightning connector in it. In my description, there's a link of a lot of products that you can select from. My recommendation is going to be a lightning connector. It's way more faster. 
higher the storage better it is because we do not upgrade our phones like every four or five years i upgrade my phone every two or three years because sometimes i require the camera and everything to do like b-rolls and c-rolls for the channel and for some other purposes um, definitely recommended if you are trying to use your iphone for audio work i would highly recommend this uh, our road mic you can go down in the links and you can purchase for directly from the description well that's it that's pretty much it guys from the channel techadu i hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and uh, in the future we are going to come up with more tech videos also so stay tuned stay entertained stay informed Goodbye.